the um, forces that are higher than me decided to stop. So, hey there, Sambo. Welcome back. Part two of the concrete graphic. This is the repair process that um, that I've been commissioned to do. I think my heater's running, so I'm sorry about the audio. Um, so when I left off of the other video, the, um, the graphic sustained some damage from a big truck driving across it, not driving, turning on it. Um, again, the, the graphic was driven across. It's held up great so far. Um, but when you get so many tons of force on that fabric and it has nowhere to go, but up and so it tore. Um, so again, I was commissioned to repair it. So going through the process of, um, trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because uh, the, the thing is after the classic, um, the signature was on the graphic and only the top panel got damaged, but the signature ran into the top two panels. So instead of replacing just the top one, now I had to replace both of them. That creates a couple complications because there's a seam that runs through it that number one, I have to line up um, the signature exactly correct um, when I go to put it back down. And, um, you know, number, and I, I guess the other thing is getting the signature on the graphic. So, what I ended up doing is I went back to the site. I took a digital picture of the signature. Long time ago, um, before I was proficient in it, um, I had to go about this old school sort of way. And uh, I'm gonna flip over and I was gonna show you kind of what what, uh, what I used to have to do. Let me go grab my other paper here real quick because it's kind of crucial to the story. So here is the digital picture that I took with my phone, printed it out on the black and white printer. And so when, when we needed to get line art back in the day, basically I put this down on the light table and I would trace all this out. Um, and I, it, it, it'll still kind of work, but the problem is you're going to lose a lot of resolution in the signature. Um, essentially what I tried to do was, um, so essentially I have my light table and I put this paper underneath and I used a pencil and I traced over his signature got it pretty close except for my 30 year old pencil eraser that just smudged everything but that's okay this is just the template to get the rest of it done and then what I used to do is I used to grab a sharpie a fine tip sharpie I don't have any fine tip sharpies these are all medium well that says fine point there now you can read it so that says fine point but I guess I needed extra fine and so when I went to trace this again you can see that my handwriting sucks you know trying to scan all that crap so anyways that didn't work out too well <laughs> so I'm gonna use my skills in flexi and um, I'm going to show you how I obtained the signature so that I can um, save it as a EPS file, something importable that I can scale and actually um, put it back on the graphic and kind of get my panels all aligned. So I'm gonna go to Flexi now and uh, show you how I get that stuff done. Okay guys, so here is where we have to start out. This is the picture that I took with my, uh, with my phone. And essentially I just wanna get this signature as close as I can get it. Um, you could see that it's not perfectly straight. So I took it somewhat at an, at an angle. Um, I could rotate this picture, but it's easier to fix it when it's already vectorized. So the first thing that I need to do is remove this orange background. So I, so I can provide more contrast when I go to, uh, vectorize it. So the first thing that I want to do is when I select the photo, I'm going to select my fill tool. And because I've already done this once, I kind of know what these settings are. Now you're going to have to play with the tolerances a little bit, depending on how much of the background that you need removed and how much of the foreground that you want to remain. So with that being said, I already have my palette set to white. So I'm just going to select this 
and the other thing that I learned was I need to remove as much of this black background as I can so I just take my brush take the biggest brush that I can and I'm just going to get this close and then I'll come back in and tighten that up here in a little bit um, and the reason why I need to remove this background right now is um, I'm still running Windows 7, relatively an old computer. Um, it's a Windows 7 computer. It is an i3 with, I think, 6 or 8 gigs of RAM. I can't really remember. Um, and if you guys know me, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, um, it, it, removing a lot of this background just speeds everything up um, a lot more. So, Flexi doesn't think that I'm trying to... Um, vectorize all this crap and it's actually easier to remove this background as I'm talking to you than it is waiting for my computer to process all that crap because it's uh, pretty mind-numbing as much as this is as well so I just want to remove as much of this background as I can um, I've got the signature pretty good um, I'm not gonna let me down here and let it catch up a little bit there we go um, almost done here and I just need to clean up there around the J and some of this other crap that's in here like I said this isn't gonna be perfect this is um, it's kind of like a little starting point I guess but and and again I've already done this but I want to show you guys uh, the, my process the way that I went and and actually did this so I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to take a little bit smaller brush here and remove a little bit more of this stuff. It's not going to pick all of it up, and I still want it kind of loose and grainy like that. But um, I just try to get it as close as I can. Um, now, I allocated the county about two hours to do all this. Um, which is about what it would take if I had to go back out, take the picture, um, get everything in because, the, you know, there's some trial and error in a lot of this stuff. This isn't like, you know, exactly how it's done every time. You know, you, you have to know your limitations. You have to know um, what buttons to push and, you know, all that other good stuff. So, uh, you know, it does take a little bit of trial and error to do this stuff. But this is, this is... Uh, uh, probably the most efficient way um, to get the signature so and I got a couple more of these little dots here and then once that is done I know this doesn't look like much so um, the next thing that I'm gonna do now that I have the uh, the background removed is I'm gonna go back up to my bitmap and I'm gonna go and I'm going to go to my filters uh, brightness and contrast so I'm going to try to, because the background's white, now I really can't see much of anything. I am going to crank my saturation and contrast all the way up or down. So I just want to make it as dark as I possibly can and still have the white background. Um, I know from experience, if I go down in brightness, um, it'll make the background gray. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. So I just, this is probably as good as it's going to get. So I'm going to click my go for it button in Flexi. And now I'm actually going to vectorize this with the Bezier tool. So there we go. I'm going to remove the bitmap. I'm going to remove these little chunks and bits that, that kind of came out here. I guess I could leave them in there. It really doesn't matter. Um, some of this other stuff. So, uh, yeah, it looks kind of chalky, I guess. I mean, it, it should, it should be okay. It's close. Uh, again, like I said, it's not perfect, but, um, this looks better than the ink pen that I would have to clean up and, um, probably do a lot more work on. So, uh, that's how you digitize a signature. <clears throat> So the next thing that I need to do is I'm going to close this out. I don't want to save it because I already have it. Um, so this is the aerial shot when we originally did the proposal 
um, for the graphic. Um, and you can see this in proportion. This is relatively accurate in, in size for the most part, um, but I'm gonna remove that just to speed things up a little bit. Like I said, I don't even need all this stuff, but uh, I don't wanna delete it. So this is the graphic and it is designed to size. So it's 237 by 237. And if you watch the first video, when I went through the resizing part of the graphic, it was because I was limited on material. So when I reprint this one, I'm going to have to resize it to the same size as what I did for the first one, which was 235 inches by 235 inches. So, um, and I only know that because I went back to production manager and I still save the uh the piece there so uh next thing i need to do is i need to import my uh the signature that i already digitized and it is right here so we are going to put that there zoom in a little bit let's scale this out and i'm basically just looking off of the piece of paper that I took the picture of and try to get this in the right position roundabout somewhere in that area maybe this is too big and then it needs to rotate just a smidge more okay maybe about there there pretty dang close all right so there we go um, the, the only other thing that I think I'm going to do is, um, I'm not going to change this as RGB black. I actually, I want something, um, yeah, not, not black, but not gray. You know, I just don't want it being exactly black. So I'm actually going to leave it like a gray, more of a gray with a little, you know, it's not going to make that much of a difference, but at least it won't look like print over print. So that's my only, that's my only thing. So with this one, now this is done and I am going to export this one to the production computer, but I will give it another name because this one actually has the signature. So I'm just going to call this one SIG and export that RGB. Okay. So that's that. All right, so after I did the vectorization of the signature, got everything ready to go, I exported it over here to the computer. Almost ready to get it to print. All I had to do was put it in Production Manager and set my margins and my panels like I did the first time. And I got a phone call. Um, apparently, the money that's being spent on fixing the graphic um, has already been spent. I already ordered the material. Um, I'm compensated for um, for the work that I've done, that I put into it, but the um, forces that are higher than me decided to stop. So um, I haven't been out to the site in, in a couple weeks, um, but apparently, uh, well, or the gentleman that I'm working with, um, basically kicked it um, with a boot and uh, he said that it tore. So I'm kind of hesitant on um, actually going out and looking at it because I'm not really sure what's going on with it. I can't imagine that that stuff would fail in two months. Um, or at least, you know, it's it sits out in the sun, it's unprotected, I get that. Um, the sun's rays down here in the south, when I consider the south, um, are much higher than those up in the north. And the UV rays just degrade everything. I mean, it's like boats and awnings and shingles and car paint jobs, and it just takes a beating on everything. But that being said, um, I basically got the red light to stop what I was doing and put the money somewhere else. Um, where that somewhere else is, I don't know yet. Um, they're going to let me know. So, 
Um, I, like I said, I ordered the material. The material is sitting here. I, so I ordered my two boxes of the, uh, of the Brightline. It's the 14 mil textured film, but this time I only ordered uh, 48 by 25. I got two boxes of that. They're still brand new sealed. And so that's the end. <laughs> I'm not gonna drag this on any longer than it has to. Uh, I know that there's a couple people um, or subscribers that uh, that wanted to know the uh, the outcome of this whole thing. So, and unfortunately, this is kind of where it ends. Um, and uh, unfortunately, like I said, I just got other things that uh, that we need to do and other things that we need to focus on. I know that a lot of other people want to see and talk and um, you know just experience other things. I, I get that. So, sorry guys. That's just how things go. Um, you know, hey, just another uh, notch of the belt. It is what it is. Uh, appreciate y'all sticking with me, um, watching the videos, the comments, the likes, um, you know, all the subscriptions, all the people that are uh, that are subscribing, um, you know, and, uh, you know, we'll get some other exciting projects down the road. I know I'm, I'm working on some other things and, uh, you know, I'll put them up as I need be. And um, so, again, that's it for the concrete graphic. It's pretty much done. Uh, I may go back out to the site and kind of assess some of the damage and kind of give you guys like an update, like an, uh, a two month after, before I officially end this. So, um, you know, time permitted, I'm gonna try to do that, but I'm just putting it in there that I may or may not. Um, sometimes it's updated with pictures. Um, and uh, if they're gonna be pictures, then I'll actually just put them in the comments um, on, uh, on my main page. So, uh, shoot, anyhow. All right, guys, that's it. We'll see you at the next one.